Hey guys, this is Goldie again, and in this video, I'll show you how you can go ahead and apply G Suite Archive license to your users right from your G Suite admin console. By the way, if you're straight away jumping to this video, I will recommend you to watch previous videos. Maybe I'll link them somewhere here where I spoke about what actually Archive user license is and why should you care, along with some of the impacts when you assign this user license to any of your former employees so with that let me share my screen and show you how you apply g suite archive license to your users right from g suite admin console so before you go ahead and start applying archive uh, licenses to your former employees make sure that you have uh, purchased your licenses and they are in your admin console so for that you can go to your billing section and then ideally you should uh, see them there so if I go to billing ideally I should be seeing all the license types that I have so here I see that I have G Suite Enterprise Archive user licenses and also G Suite Business Archive user licenses and I can also confirm by going to my users and then when I go to users and let's say if I click on any of these users and when I go to this users licensing uh, card where is it right there I can see that I have all these licenses to apply right here okay so once you're sure that you have the licenses then you can log in to your G Suite admin console uh, either as a super admin or that's not required till the time you have delegated permissions to update the users you should be fine log in as a as an admin user then go to users and then you should be selecting the user that you wanna archive for example if I wanna archive this user I can simply hover on this more I need to click actually and then you will click on this archive user and as soon as you do that it will uh, show you a few points such as the impacts uh, of archiving the user and if you are satisfied with it just click on archive and it will archive the user you can also simply search for a user and then you can go to user profile and once you're on the users profile click on more here and you can also take the actions right from here so you can archive the user right from there too and once you archive the, the documentation says it's gonna take up to 24 hours but usually it's pretty quick based on my personal experience it only take minutes and as you see at the bottom you see the notification which says your user has been archived now in terms of unarchiving uh, I understand that's gonna that that will not be happening frequently but just in case if your ex-employee returns and you need to uh, unarchive and activate uh, his or her mailbox you can do that uh, again just come to the user profile and either you can click on unarchive right from here or if you can also click on unarchive right from this more menu and it will show you uh, again those uh, impacts and once you understand it just unarchive it when you go to uh, when you go to your reporting section you will see it as an event whether it it is uh, archival or the unarchival that will be captured in your G Suite admin reporting until the time you have reporting access you should be able to see that event as you see we just uh, assigned the G Suite archive license and when you go to the user uh, this is 1026 so if I go to this 1026 user you will see that in the licensing the license card will show that it has been assigned archive user as you see here G Suite Enterprise archive user it has been assigned to this so this is it I will quickly unarchive it understand the impact and click on unarchive and then now this user is activated and he can work as any of the other active users so hope it is helpful in the next video I'll show you how you can archive or unarchive multiple users at once while leveraging the CSV files so stay tuned if you want to learn everything about G Suite archive user 
just go to goldiaurora.com slash au where I have put the definitive guide for G Suite archive user license. If you have any feedback or questions, do not hesitate to put it under this video and I'll be happy to help. Thank you so much.